So yeah, she just wants to explore and <laughs> have a little baby break. It seems like everyone wants to get outside and enjoy the mild weather we've been experiencing. But for mother cats, and especially their kittens, warm weather this time of year can be deadly. Well, unfortunately, kitten season has started early, and as cute as they are to have this many pregnant cats, we've taken in five already this year. And their odds of survival, of course, on the streets are almost nil for the kittens, and so we are taking in as many as we can. Luckily for Rose and her weak old babies, they have a safe and warm place to call home for now. They are being fostered for street cat rescue by Leslie and Colton. She had been known to get pregnant a lot and she had about five or six litters of kittens and they don't know what happened to the kittens so she brought her to me. She actually broke free of the carrier once she was being transferred to me and it took us 10 days to find her. In all, Ross has looked after four mothers and their litters in addition to several individual animals for street cat. She will get to name these ones during the eight weeks they will spend here. But one that appears to be wearing a toupee already has an appropriate and timely nickname. Here's the one we call Trump. <laughs> Except she's a little girl. The large number of early pregnancies has actually led to Leslie taking care of two litters at the same time. Anna Lee gave birth to her kittens about four weeks ago. Um, she was living in a dog house with another cat. Um, and she had been living there for about a year and had had a litter before as well. So we took her in and we also got um, the cat that she was living with. I know I could just watch them for hours, so adorable. I started volunteering at PetSmart um, in the adoption center. We have adoptable cats there. Um, and then once you kind of know that there's a need and know that you know you have a little bit of extra space that you can help a, a cat in need, then it's, it's hard to say no. And the dedication of volunteers like Leslie makes a huge difference to these animals. Well, it's absolutely wonderful because we get them into a home environment and they can be a normal cat. Their personality can come out. They can get secure with people. Um, we find out who they are and then that helps us make sure that they're forever home, that it's a good fit. While looking after two litters plus their own pets may sound like a bit of a handful, Leslie says it's manageable plus a whole lot of fun. As long as you keep up with the cleaning and making sure that you give enough time to all of the kittens, then, it, then it's okay. And the mom does most of the work for the first few weeks. And if looking after a squirmy bunch like this seems like too much to take on, there are plenty of other options. All of the cats that we take off the street need to, after they've done their quarantine and, and been cleared by the vets, need to get into foster homes until we can find them forever homes. So quiet kitties, older kitties, um, energetic kitties, uh, you name it, we've got it. For more information on becoming a foster volunteer, visit streetcat.ca. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Simon Hyatt.